What is up you guys, it is Sam here, and today I'm going to teach you how to install shaders for Minecraft 1.8 on your Mac. Here we go. So the first thing you have to do is head to the description below for a link that leads to a Minecraft forums thread that should start like this, shaders mod updated by Karyonyx. If you head here under the for Minecraft 1.8 tab, as of this video, there is only an alpha version available. However, as time goes on, more versions will be available under the for Minecraft 1.8 tab. So if I click alpha version version 2.4.3, this is exactly what it says. Not compatible with Optifine, Forge Mod Loader, or Forge. Minecraft 1.8 is required. It must be installed before you install this mod. So the download is right here under download page 1. Once that is done, you should have a file that looks just like this. This is the .jar installer for the shaders mod. However, we need to install Minecraft 1.8 first. Click New Profile. Let's call the profile 1.8. And let's use version Release 1.8. Then click Save Profile. Click the 1.8 profile and then click Play. Once that is done, click Quick Game. Now double click on your shaders mod.jar. Click open. It warns you to close the Minecraft launcher before installing, and it is going to install to application support Minecraft, which should be the correct file location. Click yes. Go, go through this quick license real quick. Click OK. Then click OK. Open up your Minecraft launcher once again. A new profile should be created called 1.8 shaders mod. Make sure that profile is selected, then press play we head to the options menu, we can see that a shaders option is available. This means that shaders was installed correctly. Alright, so you have completed part one. Now I need to complete part two, which is actually installing a shader pack to use the shaders mod. Now where can you find these shader packs? If you head to the link in the description below, the same one that you used to download the shaders mod, scroll all the way down and you will see a ton of different topic links to different shader packs. However, you need to be really, really careful when reading each of the different shader packs. You need to make sure that the certain shader pack you want works with your computer. In this case, this one says PC Mac compatible and Intel compatible, meaning it will work with an Intel HD graphics card. So I'm going to click topic link. I'm probably going to download the light because my computer cannot really handle shaders. So I'm going to click that. Once that is complete, you want to head to your options and then to your shaders option in your Minecraft window. There should be a little button that says open shader packs folder. I'm going to click just that. And this is where you will drag your shader packs. So I'm going to take my shader pack and drag it in there. As you can see, the pack has appeared. I'm going to click, I'm going to click on it, then I'm going to click done. I'm going to open up a single player world. Now the shader pack sort of works, but remember this version of the shaders mod is an alpha, meaning there will be bugs. As you can see, there are a lot of flashy elements around and otherwise the rest, the other shader elements are, are noticeable. You can see the shadows, you can see the light glare, but remember this is an alpha version as of this video. A better version will be available as time goes on. And that is pretty much it ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment below. I will happily answer it. If you are new to the channel and you want to subscribe for more cool content, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you really enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below as well. All right, everyone, I am Sam, and I'm signing off. Always been in the, in the description of several of my videos. My Facebook is facebook.com slash maddogtherobot. My Twitter is at maddogtherobot. My Google Plus is plus maddogtherobot. My Twitch is MTR Streams, And believe there's one more. Yes, a subreddit. I have a subreddit. I created it, I think, a month or two ago. And if you are a heavy Reddit user and you want to subscribe to me on there, feel free, if you, if you want to, of course. And another thing about the subreddit that is important, that is where I will be putting my, my hefty written updates. Updates that I can't write in more than 140 characters or on a Facebook page or on Google+. That is where all of the written updates are going to go. So everyone, just to say that again, all written updates are going to be on the Mad Dog.